Hey guys, it's uh, it's me. What's up? I'm back, and I had a nice vacation down in Cuba. And um, now I'm gonna post some more videos again. And this is my second time recording this because the first time I did it, it just uh, I didn't record the screen for some reason. I had League of Legends in full screen mode. I'm not sure if you can, but I was using Camtasia to record, and it just like recorded my screen behind it. So I just had like a 20 minute video of you staring at my iTunes library. So now I'm trying in Windows mode, windowed mode. I don't know if this is the only way to do it. This is how I'm doing it this game, and it seems to be fine. Minions have spawned. Um, if you notice, I'm I'm actually jungling this game. You can move, you can move, move. And he's not the fastest, the best jungler, but he has one of the best ults for me, and that's really the main reason why I can play him. AoE snare for two seconds, and you can't do anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip the whole jungler route, the basic one. You can basically go like any any route you want with any game. Usually with mana, mana um, using champions, you want to go. To wolves and blue buff, and if you don't if you don't get a leash from your teammates, then you want to go to uh, just like straight to blue buff because it'll be harder. Blue buff actually, and it'll actually slow down your jungle. Let's do wolves first without any help. Um, so yeah, here I am. Another thing you want to do, I don't jungle that much, but like this is just like basic mechanics of the jungle. You just want to. Try and clear camps as fast as possible, and also gank lanes when the opportunity presents themselves. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Weird. After camera's all weird when I don't have it on the window. Anyway, yeah. getting my red buff gives me a slow and uh, true damage, damage over time. And there's no real, I could gank bottom, but bottom's sort of hard to gank, and I just kind of get leveled because I mean, he's really weak. Really and he gets bullied by most champions, which is why he's usually just forced to play in the jungle. There's no real other role that he can play successfully and actually do well in. Um, yeah. thing is that uh, I don't remember saying, but I'm going to be fast forwarding quite a bit of my uh, parts of the video where stuff isn't happening. Here I go to do my raids. Do you want to do them whenever they come on? You want to keep the timer on to your jungle, whether you're um, you mentally or you type it. Just like, just let you know when it's going to spawn and you can like sort of plan out what you're doing. Because every time, every, for the, all the time that you spend not killing creeps, there's time wasted. And, uh, more likely to be here, preparing for the gank. Um, Vladimir baits it. Nasus goes after him. We try to do something, but we can't really do anything. Don't have any much damage right now. Vladimir uh, is fairly weak early game. He's not just the weakest, but it's not like Evelyn type thing we're talking about, but. Can't really do a whole lot. Early game three nine. Seen. After level nine, he can. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, somebody got the kill. Oh yeah, bottom got a kill. So pretty good. If you can get a kill in your lane without the help of your jungler, then that just like puts you that much far ahead because your jungler is able to continuously like farm or do whatever he's doing and heal the game. Um, yeah, typically, this is like talking about like, 
uh, normal, like in the lane, like these minions. Um, usually a kill is worth approximately 20, like 15 to 20 minions early game before like uh, the 15 20 minute mark. And then after that, each kill is only worth about like 12 CS. And by that time, it's much easier to just farm. That's why you see a lot of competitive and high elo players more focusing on last hitting or getting the last um, hit on a minion for the kill, so that, that's uh, the only way you can actually earn the gold for it. And, yeah. If you're looking to like improve your game, that's like the biggest thing. The other, well actually that's not the biggest thing, but that like helps a lot. The biggest thing in this game is actually just uh, being able to position properly and knowing when to engage, when to disengage, when to uh, trade, uh, harass, back off, all that stuff, all the mechanics. I'm just going back to buy because I have I have 600 gold. I'm just, I'm just getting a uh, boot, I think, or my spot health pot in ruby crystal. Just because I was out of mana and the lanes were pushed, I can't really go anywhere. Bot bot is the hardest lane to gank just because. Um, they can ward the river, they can ward here, and they're pretty much safe. And you can come through the brush if the lane is pushed and then you let it push back, but it's fairly hard to do, and um, if they ward it, then obviously it's easy to stop. So here, the flag is still on Nasus, but it's going to die so nice. Anyways, I was there, but I, I couldn't really do anything, and Corky was there as well, but again, not much I can do, so just waiting, waiting to gank this uh, Ari, give our middle lane a bit of a lead on him. So we can see that this Corky is coming, so we're ready to counter gank. <laughs> um, Morgana missed the bind, but it's okay, I, I was able to hit the bandage toss, and I also just for the extra burst damage. Probably would have died for sure anyways, but we secured the kill. Now I'm going to do my raid. It, it, I'm I'm obviously like here doing them, but a champion like Morgana who pushes fairly well should always be after they push the lane. Killer. After they push the lane, you wanna take the opponent's race or our race if your jungler is not there. And that goes for pretty much any middle lane champion. Or whatever or the other thing you can do is always push and then uh gank other lanes to try and help them out because if you end up getting a kill it's pretty well worth it. Here you can see what I was talking about before. I was walking through um through the dragon and I soon as soon as I came right here or right here I should say they they started backing off because they had a ward in this bush and um, therefore they backed off. And Ash is the best kiter in the game. Which means like she can basically slow you in indefinitely. She, you can just um, not get caught up or not catch up to her unless you have a stun or gap close or such. But yeah. I like I see the jungler is top, so I should be trying to take this. Instead, I'm just like kind of walking up and trying to do something. Which he's he's gonna get back in time. He's, there's it takes like ten seconds to recall or nine if he has mastery. So he's gonna be safe. I just check it anyways with managed toss, but he's not there obviously because he's already back. <sighs> I go to do golems. I'm, I was planning on covering the lane after I did them, but I just, like, I just do these ridiculously slow. It's like, the only damage I really have is my hand, my E, and it's really slow. Whenever, you don't want to just have creep dying at the tower, because then you're losing out on XP and some gold, and possibly. 
works that works the other way too. If you force your opponent out of your lane, you wanna you wanna push to um, force them to lose XP and gold by uh, having the tower kill the creeps. See, our blue buff is up, so I'm probably I think I'm doing my race. Am I doing the race? No, we're just going straight to blue buff because it is up, and we don't want uh, the opponent's uh, jungler to steal it because. We saw him over here before, so he's probably doing his red, and he might come here, or he might be going bottom in the brush. We're just weakening this down for the jungler, or the middle so that he can just take it quickly. That way, giving blue buff to your middle lane helps out a lot because it allows them to be less uh, sparing with their their spells. Um, yeah. Go back. I have my two gold and five items. The Philosopher's Stone and the Heart of Gold. So like, this game is being pretty passive. Mostly farming. So if it does end up going to late game, I'll be set. I have two gold items generating gold constantly. I can just keep farming and going to lane if I need to. See, I'm heading bottom because uh, Kog'Maw's alone and I think he did see that there is a... Uh, I know I saw it on the minimap a little bit, so I think Corky's in the push. And Alistair's coming over there. Lulu is... In that bush, she just warded. You can see the red dot. Now, you have to engage, but I'm here for the counter gank. <laughs> it's doing a lot of damage. However, not that much. Kogma's gonna go down. Kogma is dead, and he's gonna try to do as much damage as possible. Kill, kill Corky. Try to kill Ash, but as you can see, as in before, Minus, I'm also out of mana, so like it's hard for me to do much at all. Alistair, Ash can chase you, you know, tomorrow, but she's out of mana, so she can't really do that anymore. Uh, I have a bit of mana now, but I can't really, I can't kill them by myself. I can just basically act as a CC bot. Like, snare them, stun them, do a little bit of AoE damage, and hope that my team is uh, protective enough so that they can do something. See, they're being really aggressive because they know that I'm alone. And, yeah, I'm just trying to stay in range for XP so that we don't lose on it. But the food is being really annoying, I'm a headbutter. No, Cogma's back. We try to do something, but we don't have enough damage. We don't have any like chase potential. After I get that initial stun, we can't really do much. So I'm low. I'm gonna go go somewhere else. Other lanes are doing okay. Mid pushed out a bit. Top pushed out quite a bit. And I'm just heading over to my race. Yeah, I warded I warded the bush here for the middle lane. Now I'm going to the I just flashed out after I got the minion to keep safe. But I know that the Corky has been there, so I wanna check my red buff. I know he's trying to take it, so I asked help my my uh, my middle lane and he lands a clutch binding and saves my life. I dropped down to 17 health, but he doesn't end up clearing the creeps for whatever reason. So that's not gonna reset the timer on it. You're gonna have to go back and get and get the two wizards there. And you can see I got Ninja Tabai, which um Reduce damage taken from non turret basic attacks by 10%. 25 armor. So that does uh, more uh, targeted towards the uh, AD heavy team. And basically, that's what we're facing. We're facing Anasis, who's AD. He's top. We're facing Lulu, who's playing support more. He does magic damage, but not that much. Ash is range carry, does all AD damage. Corky does 
uh, 80 damage with some magic burst. Ash has an arrow, arrow that does AP as well, but that's not too much. Uh, Ari is AP, but she's more poke and sustain. Bot is doing well. Bot is up 20, 20 CS on their Ash. Tied for kills into this, so they're ahead. And I think now, I'm going mid to try and gank or something. Just like waiting to push for whatever reason. <coughs> yep, we're going mid. I saw the Corky, I missed the bandage. Vlad is here because he's killed his power, so he's free to roam. Ari, alt boy, so she can free ticket out. So there's Corky here. And also, uh, kill the Nath, of course he gets away, no help. We go check up, see where he is, but there he is. With the top is pushing, so we can go back and kill the creep. I think I'm just going to our blue because it's fun. I could uh, also check the red, but I'm pretty sure... Actually, it probably is up, but I just like decided not to go for it. Decided to ward, ward dragon, and then take our blue. An enemy has been slain. Nice kill. Yeah, okay, let's push down. Get the turret. Get the turret off. An ally has been slain. Now I'm coming down with. Uh, Morgana for the gank. Hogma has like no help. Trying to be careful. So I feel I feel those kills for the double. <laughs> and uh get Morgana mad because like you know that we're far ahead, so we're just playing more greedy. I'm pushing this lane out because we know that they've uh Forky jumps on Cogma, but Cogma has flash, so Gets the wave fine. Here, yeah, start dragging, but Mumu is one of the junglers who just like simply can't do it by the way. Dragon taking like no damage and I'm like dead. So, and then it resets, so we just like give it up. Um, <coughs> yes, yeah, so now I have a nice buy. I bought Aegis, it helps the team. You always want one Aegis on the team, whether it be the support or the jungler who gets it. It's all um, game dependent. See our support is rushing uh, Shirelia's, so I decided to go Aegis, and then I have a uh, chain vest for extra armor against the uh, heavy AD. Now I'm going to race, and then uh, mid is going to go down, so I don't go there right away. But I'm going to clear the minion once the lane pushes past that first tower. And yeah, basically for item building, you always just want to build based on both the team composition and also based on how the game is actually going. Because that's that's the biggest thing. Like you can do well in a game, but like if you don't build properly, then you, you, you just won't be noticeable and you just won't do well in team fights. Don't be able to carry the game and help out your team. So, here at the bottom again, Forky's here, I think, uh, yeah, there was no ward, so I was free to come in. I get an ult on two of them, Ash barely got out of it, I'm just like, letting Pogma take damage from Ash. We're going straight for Forky, um, yeah, Lulu's there, debating on diving, but Ash is here, Ash has an arrow, but I block him, saving his life, and then I get a nice fine, or nice uh, bandage on Lulu and we get that kill. We got all three kills there. The other team surrendered. So if you like this video, uh, please like it, comment on it, and uh, subscribe because I'm going to be posting Victory. many more videos. Many more Lulu videos. Thanks again guys. Talk to you later. Yeah.